hi hello friends so in today's video we are going to see uh, what will happen when you are trying to cross uh, like a cross a data from one clock to another clock so for that explanation I am just using this so here if you see um, we are passing a data from flop 1 like flip flop 1 to flip flop 2 uh, this flop 1 will be at uh, one clock domain and another flop 2 will be at another clock domain so whenever you are like trying to pass a data from one clock domain to another clock domain you will be facing metastability issue which is nothing but uh, for an instant of time your data will be unsure whether it is uh, like 0 or 1 so that will cause a data mismatch and data uh, loss and all so in order to avoid that you will be using three techniques uh, one is using dual synchronizer and the second thing is using uh, uh, FIFO and the third method is using handshake synchronizer so these are the three widely used techniques and uh, in this video we are not going to see how to resolve it but instead we are going to see uh, how that occurs or what will happen when you are like passing a data from one clock domain to another clock domain so let's jump into this and here as I explained you uh, I am like passing a data in from flop 1 and uh, say, seeing at the output what is happening so both of these things is go going to work at different clock domain so I wrote a code like simply like um, this is basic flip flop in that flip flop one output which is nothing but this this part is uh, the data has been passed in this uh, clock 1 and in clock 2 uh, the output has been received the output of the flop 1 is the out of this flop 2 so we wrote that and uh, and apart from that I wrote a simplest code uh, for a test bench of testing so initially I am keeping this clock 1 as 7, uh, 7 and clock 2 as 5 which means it is going to pass from a slower clock domain to faster clock domain so in this case if you are checking it will uh, read all the data from clock 1 to clock 2 because like this is slower and this is faster so somehow even though this uh, data mismatch is like the timing of the data is being mismatched but all the data will be read by the uh, output but in case if we are going to change this into like fast sorry uh, this thing into a faster clock domain and uh, this is a slower clock domain then sorry this thing is a faster clock domain and this is a slower clock domain then you can see the difference that it will miss so many data at the output because uh, the first thing will be generating at a one phase and the second thing will be generating at other phase so if you are seeing if you see here like you can observe that uh, output data has been one two three four these things is uh, is there but here only zero after that only three has been observed at the output and six has been observed and nine has been observed so in order to avoid this condition what you can use is handshake synchronizer or FIFO uh, that's the topic which we are going to see in the next video and uh, hope uh, I guess this will be understandable so you need to just remember that whenever you are trying to pass a data from a slower clock domain uh, to faster clock domain you can easily manage the data by using a dual synchronizer but in case if you are tra trying to send a data from a faster clock domain to slower clock domain then you need uh, a FIFO or a handshake synchronizer which will be having uh, acknowledge signal and uh, uh, it will be having a request and acknowledge signal if you are using a handshake synchronizer that we will be seeing in the next video so thank you guys and if you like the video uh, you can subscribe and I'll be posting much more videos on these topics. Thank you. Bye.